the flap caused by U.S. President Joe Biden's comments yesterday criticizing Prime Minister Netanyahu appear to be easing. The White House offered praise for Prime Minister Netanyahu's comments in response to remarks by Biden critical of the judicial overhaul being advanced by the Israeli government. The White House said there was a lot to like in Netanyahu's calls for compromise. The White House also acknowledged that Israel is a sovereign state and sovereign states make sovereign decisions. The Israeli Air Force reportedly carried out an airstrike near the Syrian capital of Damascus early this morning. According to state media, there were damages and two soldiers were wounded. Loud explosions were heard over Damascus at around 1.30 a.m. Israel has acknowledged that it targets bases of Iran-backed groups and has conducted strikes across a broad range of targets. Roman Zadorov was today found not guilty for the 2006 murder of high schooler Tair Rada. Zadorov, who worked in maintenance at the school, was found guilty of her murder after a long and controversial trial that concluded in 2010. Many believed that Zadorov had been framed for the murder, including Rada's mother, Ilana. The acquittal came during a retrial at Nazareth District Court after new evidence was uncovered.